Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to Nerd Mode. This is where I introduce you to a series that you may or may not be familiar with. For today's Nerd Mode, I'm going to talk about the television series Supergirl. Like always, this isn't a review, it's just me talking about a series that I really like that I recommend you check out for yourself. Supergirl is an action sci-fi drama about a young girl, Kara, a young Kryptonian who escaped Krypton's fate. After being trapped in a Phantom Zone for a period of time, she came to Earth only to find her little cousin Kal-El has grown up and become Superman. Kara spends the next few years living as a normal human with her Earth family, keeping her powers a secret as well as her connection to Superman a secret. But after an incident causes Kara to reveal her powers to the world, she takes up the mantle of Supergirl, a name she didn't choose for herself. Balancing her job at CatCo while also working with her sister Alex in the DEO, a government organization that deals with potential extraterrestrial threats all the while keeping her true identity as Kara Danvers a secret. The show does a great job of balancing Kara's normal life with her life as Supergirl. It's not like Kara Danvers is the disguise and Supergirl is the real her. They're both a very essential part of who she is. I mean, they tend to influence each other. Some lessons she learns as Kara ends up helping her as Supergirl, and some lessons she learns as Supergirl helps her as Kara. Different people like Jimmy, Wynn, Alex, Hank, even though they didn't get along at first, but eventually they found common ground. Even her boss, Kat, play a big role in making her into the hero she is. And since I bring that up, that leads into another interesting thing about the show. It takes a little while, but she eventually breaks out of Superman's shadow and learns to stand on her own two feet. What I mean is that it's no longer like, oh, there goes Superman's cousin, or oh, there goes female Superman. It's like, no, she's simply Supergirl. She's a different person. She's a different superhero altogether. She's not bound to Superman. She's got her own path to follow just like he has his own path to follow. Bad guys in the show range from Earth foes like Max Lord, who is not a big fan of Superman or Supergirl. Granted, he has his reasons, but whether those reasons are always justified, it's hard to say. He does create a very interesting perspective in the show, that being that Superman and Supergirl are actually villains instead of heroes that they could just as easily wipe out everyone on Earth just as easily as they save people. And as I've mentioned before, she battles people with powers as well as other aliens too. Most are escapees from Fort Roz, a big prison housing some of the biggest criminals. It was originally in the Phantom Zone, but it crash landed on Earth at the same time Kara did. These Fort Roz escapees include other Kryptonians led by her Aunt Astra. They act as the main antagonist of season one. Not easy fighting your own people, let alone family, especially when you thought both had perished. Drama mixed with romance and quite a bit of action, which includes Supergirl using her powers a lot. A personal favorite? Well, well, you can't really go wrong with a classic like Heat Vision, especially because it's just like my favorite to visually look at. The second season of Supergirl premieres October 10th on the CW. The show was originally on CBS, but then it got moved over to the CW. I'm just including that information for anyone that didn't know. But that's really all I want to talk about in this video. To the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, live life to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.